man, today is a good day. Well, besides the fact that, I guess, uh, it says within the next couple hours, a thunderstorm is gonna be rolling in. Well, you can look at the clouds and see that is the case. Dark clouds are rolling in, which kind of stinks. But the big news today is America is gonna be launching, well, hopefully, as long as they don't get rained out, as long as their launch window holds up. America's gonna be launching astronauts from American soil in an American-made SpaceX rocket, the Dragon, headed to the International Space Station. First time in, in a decade, American astronauts have launched from America. It's huge. We're gonna be, I'm gonna be watching it. Hopefully, I will be able to throw some footage in for you guys. For those of you who didn't get a chance to see it, obviously this is at the beginning of the day and I don't know how this day is gonna turn out yet. But hopefully, one, it doesn't get canceled due to rain or weather. You know, they're in Florida, so the Florida weather's always crazy. And two, hopefully everything goes off without a hitch. So that's what's going on today. We're watching America make history by launching astronauts into space for the first time in a decade. If you couldn't tell by that intro, I'm starting my day off at Walmart. Uh, when Amy got off today, we needed to come have Lily's. She broke her glasses the other day playing, so we needed to come have her glasses fixed. Turns out the Vision Center people called in sick today, whoever was supposed to be working at the Vision Center, so we couldn't even do that, but we, Amy wanted to do a little shopping while she was here. So, we are uh, starting out at Walmart. But we're gonna be home in time to watch the launch. They had to scrub the mission for today, unfortunately, due to weather. They're gonna launch again Saturday. Well, that's a bummer that the, the mission got scrubbed for today. So, I guess what will happen is, uh, I'll just, uh, we'll cut this video and we'll pick back up Saturday. Three days later. Well, three days have now passed since we last spoke in this video. It is Saturday, and I am picking this video up about an hour before launch, or an hour before they're supposed to launch. Uh, Doug Hurley and Bob Binkin on the inside of Crew Dragon. Um, you can see some clouds starting to gather over Launch Complex 39A. We're keeping a close eye on weather. Again, 50-50% chance of launching today. We just got to see what the weather's going to do. Um, a little bit ago, we heard the crew complete uh, their comm checks live on the air. Dragon's ready. Um, we saw during the interview just a few minutes ago the hatch uh, begin to close and so inside the white room there the pad closeout team is in there um, still doing some work that that hatch closes you know it's not as simple as just closing a car door there's a process um, to seal it and check it and make sure that uh, everything is sealed pad. properly right looks like they're it's still kind of patchy out there but again we were following some thunderstorms that look like they may be making their way over here. So, it, uh, there's the countdown okay. clocks. We're less than 50 minutes from the scheduled liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket carrying Crew Dragon. Watching the broadcast that's going on right now, so far today they've said the weather was good. Everything was nominal. Man, I, I hope this goes off today. I really do. It's gonna be big. Now, some of you may not know how the whole thing works. It is a two-stage rocket. It means it separates in two different pieces. So you see at the bottom, there's one large section where it says SpaceX written down the side of it. And then there's a color change. Where that color changes at there, that is the beginning of the second stage. Those panels break apart and there's an engine there. And then above that is another fuel tank that goes all the way up to right where the capsule is, where the astronauts are. For example, pretend this is a SpaceX Falcon. I know it doesn't look like it, but pretend it is. This bottom section will launch them into space, basically 
putting them up in a low orbit. Then, it, then they'll break off the bottom section and let it fall back to Earth. In fact, uh, SpaceX reuses these, so they'll it'll come back to Earth and they'll try to land it on a either on the, a launch pad there at Kennedy Space Center or they'll try to land it out on a drone ship out in the middle of the ocean. Well, at that point, this top section that has broken away, it will ignite, getting them going fast around the Earth, also increasing their elevation above the Earth. Because so say the Earth is at this level and the International Space Station is up here at this level, then the rocket will circle the Earth, gaining, burning its engine, it will circle the Earth, gaining altitude until it reaches the same level as the International Space Station, and that's when they dock. So it's gonna take some time. It's not one of those things that they just lift off, fly straight to the International Space Station and dock within a few minutes, no. The International Space Station makes one complete repetition around the Earth every 90 minutes. It'll be the same for the rocket once they get up there and get in orbit. They'll be traveling at about 17,500 miles an hour. They'll burn their engines though to give them a little more speed and to pick them up a little bit higher. And they'll keep doing that until they get on the same level as the International Space Station where they can just easily dock right with the space station. And this stuff is so cool. Um, so we, we got about an hour left and uh, as long as the weather holds out and everything is good, then it'll be showtime. We're getting closer and closer and closer. The closer it gets, the more nervous you get, or at least I get. You know, are they gonna launch today? Are they gonna launch today? God, I hope they launch today. I tell you, as, as a little side caveat, if you didn't know, Elon Musk owns SpaceX. He is the innovator behind all of this. He is also the owner of Tesla. He makes the Tesla automobile, the full electric car. I really uh, admire that dude. He used to own PayPal and he built up PayPal and then sold it off to eBay for billions of dollars. And I mean, he's just, he's a smart guy. And so he, he made a profit with all these companies over the years and then took that money and invested it in SpaceX, started SpaceX and has spent millions, if not billions with the sole purpose of getting men into outer space. It's incredible. Elon Musk is such a cool dude. I'm going to throw in a side caveat for just a minute. You hear that popping noise? I just got new shoes. It's the left shoe. It's like some kind of suction or something that it's making to the ground, causing it to pop every time I lift my foot. I have tried everything. I have put tape on it to try to stop it. And that's like three layers of tape. It has bothered me for like two weeks now. I've had to cut it out of previous videos so that that popping sound didn't make it into the videos. It's very aggravating and I can't figure out how to get rid of it. So I, I need Elon Musk to figure out a way to get rid of it, probably, I guess, because I can't figure it out. It's, it's like almost a 99.9% .9 chance he'll never see it. So you guys, all of you who are watching, if you know how to get rid of it, if you know how to make that stop, if you've ever had that problem and you've dealt with it, please tell me how. Put it down in the comments below. I just got these shoes, what, three weeks ago now. I hate to, you know, have to abandon them already, but if, it, if I can't get it to stop, I... I'll have to do something because I I just can't walk around with a popping sound coming from my foot every time I take a step. I gotta figure it out. Put it in the comments below if you know how to fix it. Please. Please. Anyway, 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, zero. Ignition. Ignition. Lift off. The Falcon 9 Crew Dragon is going down to Godspeed, Spot of Go, go, baby, go. Go, baby, go. So rise on a new era of American space flight. And with the ambitions of a new generation. Wow. Continuing the dream. 20 seconds.
even in the flight stage one propulsion is nominal. Yeah. Plus 30 seconds into this historic mission. Flying crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9 and look at them go. Falcon power coming to nominal. Well, I would uh, pull in about 2.3 Gs, 2.3 times the Earth's gravity, already moving at over 1,500 miles per hour. Right now, everything continuing to look good. Ignition. Wow. And then ignition of the second stage engine to continue to carry astronauts into orbit. Oh, wow, look at that shot. Coming up in Man. about 20 seconds. And one you throttle down. And we have Miko. Miko. Falcon stage separation confirmed. Wow. And it's cool that first stage, they're going to try to land it so they can reuse it. Right, we That's have stage cool. separation. Oh, look at that shot. first stage beginning wow. its flight back. The second stage being powered by that single Merlin 1D vacuum engine has ignited. And this down ships are carrying Bob. Dragon SpaceX nominal trajectory. The question of signal, Bermuda. SpaceX Dragon nominal trajectory. Oh, there you see the stage one that's going to land. You can see that first stage with the grid fins deployed. It's making its way back to attempt to land on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you today. And we're just about a that's minute. That's the name of their ship. Uh, I still love you today. The that's the actual name that's of their drone three ship. Three of the nine Merlin engines do ignite to help slow the vehicle down as it re-enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. Yeah. The bottom, if the first stage lands on the drone ship, that's going to be incredible. I mean, what you're seeing through the screen is a live view of our drone ship. 100 percent mission our first success. stage will be coming down. Looks like we lost that live view, but we'll wait for confirmation of that landing shortly here. Oh, yes. They landed. And there you can see on your screen, Falcon 9 has landed. This is the first Falcon 9 to carry humans to orbit, so very exciting for us. And as you can see on your right screen, Bob and Doug are still making their way to their targeted orbit. <laughs> so they're fixing to do a separate, the second stage rocket, which yeah, is just going to leave the crew and event. their tank so we know shortly. The Dragon. We're begin a series That's all that'll be the Draco thrusters to go that are going to be used to maneuver and to the space Dragon station. on its flight to the International Space Station. Waiting for confirmation now of that Dragon separation confirmed. Dragon separation confirmed. <laughs> there is a great view right in front of you. Dragon separating. And there's that call out. Dragon is now officially making its way to the International Space Station today. Dragon SpaceX with that separation call. Oh, we have a few words for you from our Falcon 9 team. 85. Dragon, Chief Engineer on Dragon to Ground. Bob Doug, on behalf of the entire launch team, thanks for flying with Falcon 9 today. We hope you enjoyed the ride and wish you a great mission. They did it. It's amazing. Elon Musk and his team have sent the first Americans into space since 2011. Over a decade. First Americans to go into space from American soil, anyways. Obviously, we've had Americans leave from Russia, but from American soil on an American-made rocket. They were also the first uh, American astronauts to go to space on a commercial-made vehicle. So, a lot of history being made today across the board for Elon Musk and SpaceX. Wow, what a historic day. The, the two astronauts that are up there on the SpaceX Dragon 9 capsule, they will be in this orbit process for 19 hours. So they actually won't arrive at the International Space Station until tomorrow morning. That's how long it's gonna take them to gradually uh, maneuver upward 
onto the same orbit as the International Space Station 19 hours from now. So they'll be able to take their, their spacesuits off and get comfortable. They have restrooms, they have food. They'll get eight hours of that time will be them sleeping. So they will be able to do other stuff while they're waiting. 19 hours is a long time to be stuck in that small little space capsule. Two meters. We are inside the hands-off point, the chop, the crew hands-off point. One meter to go. Dragon SpaceX, docking sequence is complete. X Dragon, we copy, docking complete. Endeavor, this is Houston. After your spectacular rendezvous and docking of the first Crew Dragon vehicle, for the first time since the retirement of the space shuttle, you have completed a historic ride to the ISS and have opened up a new chapter in human space exploration. On behalf of the flight control teams here in Houston and in Hawthorne, California, and to our SpaceX colleagues, bravo on a magnificent moment in spaceflight history and on the start of a new journey that has changed the face of space travel in this new area of space transportation. Bob and Doug, good luck, and we look forward to working with you on board. And welcome to the International Space Station. Ah, uh, well, that's going to do it for this episode. Congratulations to NASA, SpaceX, Bob, I think it's Bunk Burnkin or Bunkin, I think is how you pronounce it, and Doug Hurley, Elon Musk. Congratulations. It was a huge day. Massive success for uh, man, space flight, and the American space program. History making day. It's huge. Uh, some of you may not have found this video interesting. Some of you may not be into this whole space thing like I am. I apologize if that was the case. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If you're new here to the channel, please click that subscribe button and take it a step further and hit the notification bell icon. That way you get notified every time I upload a video. If you want to help support the channel, check out the links down in the description box below. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at Real Bama Mike. Thank you all. I'll see you again, well, either tomorrow or the day after. Please stay safe and stay healthy, most importantly of all. I love you all. Have a great day.